Hello there everyone, welcome to the stream. Hope everyone's doing alright today. And I just want to welcome you to the Indie Spotlight. We're doing something a little bit special today because I have a key that was kindly given to me by Sometimes You, the publisher for this game, Escape from Tethys. It was on my wish list anyway, but I'm covering it today as a kind of a, a thank you for the key. Um, we'll be playing it a little bit. It's, uh, it's an interesting Metroidvania type title. And that's about as much as I know about the game. I know it's set in space, I know it's a Metroidvania, and I've heard rumours that it's quite difficult as well. So I'm probably going to die quite a lot. But we're going to dive in and see how it is. I uh, hope everyone is well today. Anyway, we have some text going up. So we've got the year 2647. The galaxy's governments are in shambles. Science corporations have amassed incredible power. And it's gone before I've even read it. Well, I hope it wasn't important. You're the best weapon scientist in our team. More importantly, you know how to push the people around you to speed projects up. We're sending you to the weapons facility on Tethys to help move things along. It's imperative we stay ahead of our rivals. You'll be working with other experts. That really does disappear. It'd be nice if it would stay on until you skip past it. But never mind. It's encouraging fast reading. Escape from Tethys. Let's have a gander at the options. Well, pretty minimal. Got sound volume and music volume. Okay. I guess we're dumping straight into it. Normal, easy, or back. What's the back difficulty? Now, I tend to go with easy just because I've heard how hard it is, but I'm going to dive into normal. I mean, I always kind of feel that normal difficulty is a good difficulty to jump in regardless. Just purely for the fact as that's the intended difficulties by the developer, so... Do I have to do something more? Is it a loading bar? Oh yeah, I see a little bit of blue on the left. I think this is loading. Let me just turn the volume down a little bit. The volume's a little bit higher than expected, don't it reverberate through the uh, microphone? You know, they always do that. They always take like forever on the initial part, and then just suddenly go black done. Never mind. I was gonna say we'll chill back and have like a little bit of conversation, but it was done before I knew about. Red alert! Red alert! Multiple explosions detected in the manufacturing bay. Okay, so I can use the D-pad. Got jump, fire. Don't know, don't know. Okay, jump and fire. Let me know. Uh, what's this? Anything? No. Oh. All personnel report to evacuation hangar in the West facility. It's not a drill. Okay, some shit's going down then. I like the look of the graphics as well. They're very kind of original Metroid. -y. Quite minimal in style, but they do the job. Oh, my range with this gun's terrible. It really is like the original Metroid. Telling us we can't jump up there. Whoops. And we can't jump up there either. Come on. I knew I said I'd be bad, but I didn't want to be like. Who is it? Was it GameSpot or someone that couldn't do the Cuphead tutorial? I don't know about that. Could mean IGN. All these things are usually IGN when stuff happens with bad gameplay. Oh, that stuff damages you. Okay, well, I've learned that. Computer systems, attention, all personnel. The facility has come under attack by an unknown assailant. There are multiple fires in the manufacturing bay. The hangar is currently unaffected. It's now active. Make your way to the escape pods, which are located in the hangar. Now, I'm no expert, but I'm going to guess that we're going to go to the hangar and there'll be something wrong with the escape pods. Okay, that lives. That's fine. Is that an escape pod? What even is that? Is it like a cloning facility or something? Okay. 
Actually, I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna see if we've got anything down here. These games are all about exploration. And it's not, and it's literally just a fall down pit in case you, in case you muck up a jump, which I'm probably gonna do. I kind of don't wanna just because I've proven myself to be a little bit rubbish so far. So we'll try and use some proper skills for this. There we go. I'm not completely shit. Right, here we go. Computer systems. The tennis weapon facility is known for producing specialised equipment. Our R&D sectors are scattered around the planet. Okay, There may be some prototype equipment you can use to your advantage. So these are going to be our upgrades, presumably. Whoops. Oh, okay, so I've got 10 hit points, I'm guessing. Because that went to 9 before. And now it's 8. I'm just guessing. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make that jump, am I? Okay, what's this? It's like a map. Navigation module. Generally standard for any expeditions on TSC. Keeps track of your position in the world. Okie dokie. Where is it? I have to pause to get to the map. That's a little bit inconvenient. That's not a deal, deal breaker. Uh, okay. And we're from doors back here. Right, we'll check the map then. No idea. Going right, presumably. Oh yeah. I guess that switch did more than just that door. Okay, cool. Uh, save. Okay, cool. Save point. Nice. So far, so good. Leap of faith! Okay. This is really short range, this gun. Whoa! Run. There we go, we got him. We got him. We beat the boss, sir, but we didn't get him. Railgun. Ooh, I love a railgun. High powered railgun that does immense damage. Press the A button to fire. Oh, look at this shit. Oh. Poop. I'm out of bullets. I didn't pay attention. I didn't realise this would have limited bullets. Never mind. An unauthorised military class droid has been detected in our facility. Arm yourselves. Use extreme caution. Make your way to the escape shores. Okie dokie. What's this? Is this just going to take us up? It looks like an elevator. Doesn't seem to be functional. Whoops. Okay. Let's save. You're going to give me full health? Yeah, you are. This time, I'm not going to waste the railgun ammo. Those little things are pretty out of spot. Oh. Uh, okay. Right, I'll sign the lava. I would guess I don't want to be here. I'm also guessing I probably want to go down. I'm going to try going up. No, that's too high. Boop. Okay, well, we can pick up health upgrades or health restoration. Uh, okay, drop down. Well, I guess I've messed that jump into there. No, there's no other hang I can jump into there. I was thinking maybe I could fall in. I'm trying to do a corner jump, but it doesn't seem to have, uh, you know, coyote time when you can jump off the edge. Don't really seem to have that in this game. And it seems like it's just a little bit too far. Right, never mind. Uh, do I want to go lava or towards this thing? Got him. Got him. Ah! Let me 
me. Go away. Thank you. Uh, oh, thing. I didn't get the thing. Boop. Ah. Whoa. The railgun's pretty cool. It's quite OP, but we also have quite limited ammo, so. On. Nice. Ah! Oh, wait. Their flight patterns are pretty awkward. Oh, oh, you son of a gun. Ah! Pants. Okay, death number one has happened. Never mind. I had a feeling that probably was. Oh shit! I was probably going in the wrong way anyway. I felt like I was going off the beaten path. Right. Let's try and go this way. Oh no. Maybe I am going the right way. Those crab things are surprisingly tough. Go away. So are these butterflies. Yeah, thanks for all the health upgrades and stuff like that. Love it. Ah. Right, sorry. Damn it. I think I could have made that jump. Nice. Go. Sorted. All right, I'm doing all right. Okay, give me some help, please. Please. Sucking at this, I need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, those crab things are really tough. I think I'm best probably avoiding them. Or at least try and shoot them from behind. Ah! Bugger off. Well, I'm wasting all the good ammo. Is it going to jump over? No, I'm jumping way too late. I'm pretty sure I can make that jump. But I'm definitely jumping very, very late. Okay, nice. I am going to use my real good ammo on that. Just because I hate those crab things. Those crab things are really annoying. Oh, poo, I could probably use that. Okay, I'm doing okay. Let's avoid the crabs. Poop. Go away. Thank you. Alright, what's this? Data log. This planet's surface is inhospitable for humans with temperatures reaching as low as minus 10, so wonder anything survives. 
Yet, there are many species of fungi, some tree-like organisms, and even some fauna that run about. Okay, thanks for that. Go away. Give me health, please, butterflies. Thank you. Ah, there's no way I'm getting up there. Teleport discovered. Okie dokie. No linked teleporters. Where the devil do I go then? Because now everything's respawned. Ah! Mommy! Come on. I knew I'd get hit by that. Go away. Oh, you son of a gun. Right. Back here. That's unfortunate. That's fine. We're getting better at that section at least. Come on, give me some health. I appreciate you dropping something though, mate. It means a lot to me. They charge super fast. Go away. Oh my goodness, how difficult is it to hit those bloody butterflies? Oh! That's a troll. I thought I was going to make it that time. Okay, well we've got that, which is a little healthier. Oh, and another one. Okay, that's cool. I might be okay then. Maybe. Go away. I say I might be okay. But also, maybe not. Yeah, drop that down there, that's great. Thanks a lot. Ah, you son of a gun! Go! Oh, that section is really challenging. Well, let's try not to... Oh, damn it. I wasn't even paying attention. Alright, let's go back and save. I've already wasted, like, loads of help. Now I've wasted the ammo. Well, that's fine. Uh, we'll try going this way. Oh no, that's the dark way. Uh, there was no way up here, was there? Yeah, that's way too high to jump. Could I jump it from there? Because the thing is, if I get that teleporter, where is it really taking me to? So I've got no link teleporters, so I'd just be going back. And then I'd be in the same predicament again, with wondering where to go. Okay, that's a safe point. So where am I heading? Not heading in there. Yeah, yeah, that's way too far. Can't go here. Maybe once I get the teleporter, all things will become clear. I'm not sure. We'll check. Hiya. Thanks, darling. Uh, how's the sound, by the way, darling? Oh, hello. Well, I got some more ammo at least. Right, if I jump right, I'm gonna land in that hole. And it knocks me down. So it seems like I can't actually do that.
Go away. Well, I did it, I suppose. Got him. Uh. Oh, great, I missed them all. Fantastic. Well, I can still get past here. Go away. Right, that section is way too tight. by the guy. Go away! Oh, I think I can probably jump up there, actually. That seems doable. Okay. Got a teleporter. It's not linked. But we might be able to get past it. Go away. Thank you, help. Good. Thank you. Needed that. Uh, I don't know if it's important to collect those. Oh! Something's happening. Apart from me getting hit. As normal. Go away. Alright. Well, something happened. I don't know where. I'm still gonna go up here. Oh, these are dangerous. Can a save point, please? No save point. Okay. Damn it. Help, please. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. You little bugger. Okay, so that's going back here, so I'm going to have to go right. That's annoying. Oh, damn it. So I'm going to have to face that little crab. And I have no health. Oh, yeah! I knew that was going to happen. I knew he was just going to turn around and stab me. Okay. That's fine. I'd like to think I'm starting to get better. I mean, I'm not, but I'd like to think I am. I'm still making a little bit of progress. Right, so I can't get back here. It's a shame there wasn't, like, something here I could use to destroy this. Just to make a shortcut back. Because then I... Might have been able to head back to the save point. Maybe. Okay, so far so good. No. We've been falling the lava that time. That, that's that's progress at least. There we go. There we go. Progress. I'm doing a thing. Oh, pants. I don't have any bullets for my super gun. Well, we'll just have to do this the, the hard way. I thought it'd be a good idea to kill that crab guy, but he actually took off two health. While I just tried to search for some ammo. Pants. Yeah, every time I try and get like these ammo or health pickups, I always seem to be losing more health than I gain. At least with these ones, I can sort of... I can sort of pepper him a little bit. Okay, teleporter. At least now I have an idea about where I'm going. To an extent. Okay. Yeah, I don't quite understand, because that earthquake happened, which seemed to indicate that something's changed. Everything seems the same. Right, we'll head back here a little bit. 
Okay. I don't want to go out of that room because it'll just put us back to phase one. I've already lost a bit of health with my curiosity. And this is the beginning of the game as well. I suck. Okay, cool. That'll help. Awesome. He didn't kill me that time. Damn it. Can I kill you? Yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, now where? Come on, give me a save point, please. Ah, uh, more butterflies. Ah! Those killer butterflies are probably the scariest enemy. Whoa. Oh my god, they do a lot of damage. Okay, there's no way I can cross that. I'm not even going to attempt it. Can I get across here? I can, but there's no real reason for me to. Right, so I'm guessing the way I want to go is across here. Thank you. Oh great, drop the health pick up right in the middle of the lava. That's exactly what I wanted. Thanks, mate. Go away. Those butterflies are really stressful. I'm never going to look at butterflies the same way again. Right, not there. Game, show me some mercy, please. Ah! take one more hit. <laughs> Come on, oh my goodness, are you joking me, game? Are you literally having a laugh? Well, I'm going to farm this guy for health pickups. Because the game doesn't seem to want me to save. The game's just like, nope. We're going to kick your ass. Well, I'm getting some rail on ammo at least. I can use that on those killer butterflies. This guy doesn't want to seem to give me any health. Okay, we'll try a couple more times. If I've still not got any health, I'm just going to move on. Nah. I don't think this is going to happen, is it? Goodness, give me a save point, please. Save point. Oh my word. There yeah, look. The mushroom species found in the volcanic caverns release volatile spores. My team and I suspect these spores can be used as a fuel source for our project. I see you. There's something down there. Let's go explore it. 
Save point. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Son. Jeez Louise. That save point couldn't come quick enough. This game is brutal. Ideally, I need to start finding some upgrades or something to get a little bit stronger. It'd be nice if I had something to help with those butterflies. Truth being told. Ooh. Okay, let's go left. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there. You son of a gun. Okay, I can't get up there. Um, can I? No, I definitely can't get up there. That's fine. I feel a little bit more secure now I've actually... I didn't know it was just earthquakes, to be honest. I feel a little bit more secure now I have a save point. Ah! Look off. Well, the advantage of all those deaths made me- oh, you're joking me. Made me realise how important- oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. How important it is. So take care. Oh, son of a gun. I say how important it is to take care, and then I get hit like a million times. This looks like it's possible to get. Can I just curve round? No. My ass too high to jump up. Like, what even is that upgrade? Looks like some kind of health upgrade, maybe? Hoping I'd be able to just kind of click the side of it, maybe. But I think the hitboxes in this game are pretty tight, so I don't think I'm going to be clipping that anytime soon. Yeah. I ain't getting that. That's fine, I suppose. Okay, fine. Good. Keep your secrets. Ooh. I want a lift! You son of a gun. Even going at high speed you still get me. Oh my goodness, these butterflies. They don't quit. They're the bane of my existence. Oh, we have an upgrade. Energy shield. Launch blobs of pure energy to protect the user and harm any enemies that come near. Uses ammunition. Okay, how do we change? Okay, X button changes. Does it use the same ammunition or different? Well, I guess we'll soon see. Okay, it uses the same ammunition. Oh, yes! I wasn't even paying attention to my health. Fucking hell. Back here. <laughs> That's a loss of pro- oh. Oh. I still seem to have my upgrade. Apart from I don't, I pressed the button and it suddenly disappeared. That was weird, I had my upgrade for a bit. That seems a little bit buggy. I mean, not like a major bug or anything. But I'm still sure that that wasn't intended. I think we're going down here. I'm trying to remember exactly where it was. That's the other problem with infrequent checkpoints. Is that you kind of forget where you went. Right, it was down here. I recognise this jumpy bit. Okay, that's fine. 
I see you waiting for me, you son of a gun. Got ya. Oh, look at that! Damn, that's some good skills. Look at that, like a professional. Okay, go on. Right, so there's the energy shield upgrade thing. Nice to have a weapon ammo upgrade. Oh! Pants! That was a mistake. I didn't expect it to be lava there, I just thought it to be thought it'd be a platform. Pants! Well that's me losing a lot of unnecessary health. <laughs> Never mind. We we still did it in the end. I wonder, can I use this to pick up stuff? No. Kinda hard to tell. No, I can't. I definitely can't. I mean, that's fine. Uh, actually, I want to be bouncing to the left. Wait. Did I come down this way or the other way? I want to say I went down the other way. Okay, so I kind of there. I think maybe this is just going to be too high in general. Okay. Definitely can't get up there. Go away. This definitely helps with those butterflies. I mean, it's not perfect, I've still got hit. But at least it's protection. I think this way had a ledge that was too high, wasn't it? Oh, you lose it when you go into another room. That's annoying. Well, you get quite a big shield. And it's pretty useful. I'm not going to complain too much. Right, I can't get up there. So the question is, if not there, then where? Yeah, save points up here. Which is good. But you. Whoops. What a waste of ammo. Oh no. Maybe it's for a certain period of time because I changed rooms there and nothing. No, I'm not going to question it. Oh, pants. Come on. Well, I'm doing well. Go this way. Hopefully, I can recover some health. Away. Nice. He's dropped some health, but I have a, have a feeling he's probably dropped it in lava. Oh no, it's there. That's fine. I mean, I've lost like, what, two or three bits of health for this dude, but, <laughs> but whatever. Okay, depths, we're in a new area. Okay, there's no way I'm getting in that hole. Which is what she said. Uh, so now where? Right heads back there, which I've been to before. I could go down. Oop. Actually, because this leads back to here, I can get the safe point and recover a little bit of health because I have like next to nothing. In fact, I have a feeling I'm probably going to die as it is. Oh, this leads to the big jump, so I'm not going to be able to make that jump anyway.
That's fine. At least I've got a couple of chunks of health back. Uh, so, yeah. Right, this is the dark room. Did I spawn on top of him or something? Why is he suddenly there? Whoa! Nope! What a fly is death! We're just gonna ignore those, shall we? I definitely don't wanna face those. Something I can get to anyway. What the heck? Did that spit something out? It looked a bit like me. Oh no. Okay, it didn't. It's just another enemy. A very strange jumping enemy, so that's gonna be fun to fight, I reckon. No, I knew that was gonna hit me. I knew it was gonna hit me. Here. Right, at least we know where the dead ends are, and I don't think it's going to take us that long to get back to where we were. On the plus side. You can bugger off. Thank you. I'm not even going to attack you. It's not like I get experience or anything. I am going to kill you though, because you're going to mess up my job. As are you. Okay, maybe not. You can live this once. Only this once. Okay, cool. We're already back to where we were. We've not really lost much in the way of progress. Come on! really difficult to hit stuff. But it's probably more to do with me being a terrible shot than anything. Uh, okay. That's not going to hit me, is it? Yes, it is. My head is just a little bit too big. Away. Well, I took a lot of damage in that room. Use my shield. Shield's not that great to be honest. It's it's all right against the butterflies, I reckon. But it doesn't seem to be that much useful against other enemies. Oh hello. Speaking of which Let's activate just in case. A bit of extra protection. some kind of weapon that goes through walls, presumably, for that. Right, hopefully there's a save. There's a save point here! Like, between the first and the second save point, I was playing for, like, absolutely ages, and this one? Like, okay, there's a save point there, and there's a save point here. I mean, that's fine. I'm not bothered, I just find it funny. I think it was happened to my feet. But nothing's happened to my feet. It was just the message box. And me being an idiot. I didn't mean to use a teleport, but at least we've tried it. We'll continue left. Go away! Not going to drop anything anyway. Ah, yes, swine. Oh, I was on the ammo. Why 
are you giving me all this ammo? I've got full ammo. Give me a shit ammo. Give me health. That's where I'm really struggling. Uh, okay, we've got another data module here, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Dr. Redland Data Long. There has been a lot of seismic activity coming from the volcano. We weren't sure what was causing it at first, but now we know. We need to get out of here, it's too dangerous. And having my team collect the gear and report to the surface. Well, now we know. Oh, is this a boss? This is a boss. You're not gonna give me a save room a bit closer. Right, well I'm 99% sure this is a boss, so I'm going back to that save point now. Just going in with to a boss with 5 health, 3 health now, it's probably not the wisest decision. So I'm going to try my best to get through and have 10 hit points. Well, 10 on 9. What are these seahorses about? Whatever the hell they are. These toxic seahorses. Mega Man fans out there. Go, go, go. There's actually quite a few obstacles in between the save point. Oh, I've been silly. It's okay, I, I can still make it. I was thinking I was just damage boosting through these, and then I thought, maybe that's a bad idea. I'm almost dead. Whoops. Okay, I'm done. And I've got the shield as well. Bonus. Oh. Well, easy come, easy go. Hopefully I can pick up some health. Oh, you son of a gun. I was like, I'm going to go back to the save point because I only have five hit points. And look at me. Still with five hit points. And less. Four hit points now. Right, okay. Well, let's do a little bit of grinding then, because there's no more enemies in that room. We'll try and get like a little bit of health back. Oh. Okay, this guy's dropping stuff with relative frequency. Dropping ammo, but whatever. I don't think he realises that I don't need ammo. At least want to get to eight, please. I'll try killing them both. That's probably the most efficient way of doing it. Just worried about getting hit by that guy. Go away. Okay, we'll do another few times for these two, and hopefully we'll get what we want. Or maybe not, because this guy seems like he doesn't want to drop anymore. Oh, got one there. One more, please. You've got some drops left in you, haven't you? Okay, we'll do one more cycle. Okay, we've got ten hit points. Now, please don't jump in lava or anything stupid like that. Been mostly appreciated. Uh, okay, let's go. That's cheeky. The rule is hit points before a whoa motherfucker. The rule is hit points before a boss. Oh, the save point for a boss, rather. 
I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I always forget he does that. Ah! Not this time. Not this time, friend. Oh! Okay, I've got his pattern. His pattern's pretty simple. I died there, but I'm not that bothered, because I'm pretty sure I can beat him this time. I know his tricks now. That's quite annoying, you don't really have any space to do that. I suppose you can wait for the man at the top. Still a dirty trick. Got ya. Whoops. Never mind. Oh, okay. There aren't that many in here, I suppose. They still lost a fair amount of health. It shouldn't be too bad to get back. I don't have a tiny amount of health like before, I actually have a reasonable amount of health. Come on, one more please. There we go, that was a lot faster. This time, I've got his number. It would be nice if there was a safe point a little bit closer, but no problem. Why is that there? Okay, that's fine. Maybe that was a glitch or something? I'm not entirely sure that's meant to happen. Um, he didn't do his attack there. You want me? Come it. Oh. I seem to have a lot of problem with avoiding his aerial attack this time. I seem to get hit by that quite frequently. Before I didn't get hit by it once. Oh, you son of a gun! There we go. I did a lot worse on that than I really should have done, but I still did it in the end. Okay, we've got a thing. Side thrusters. To aid the traversal, traversal of wide canyons on remote planets, dashing with the R button. Okay, that's neat. Doesn't seem to be any limit to it either. Broadcasted recording. This is Dr. Lansing again. We're being pursued by whatever attacked the manufacturing bay. Dr. Hemmerich's suit seems to be malfunctioning due to water exposure. In relief, we're doing our best to get to the hangar, but I'm not sure we'll make it. If there's anyone left, please help if you can. Righty, oh, good sir. Okay, this is going to link us back in a circle. I still have to be careful because there is a chance that I can die here. Well, I can do that. Will that lead us to a place? Okay, I'm not going to be able to jump up here, am I? Yeah, didn't think so. It was worth a shot. That one. Oh, you buggers. Put all these deadly butterflies right after the boss. The lava underneath our facility supplies us with almost unlimited energy to do our research. However, 
We have to wear environmental suits if we want to venture down, just like on the surface. For you, help. Thank you. No! Ah! Run away! One HP and I hit the save point. Dang. Uh, don't say I have to go all the way up there. Right, we'll go down here. I don't know what's down here. This looks familiar to the other place. It is different though. Come on, where's this lava lift? Oh! Ah! No! No! This is not going well. This is not what I wanted to do. That's fine. Oh my goodness. That went really wrong. Okay, cool. Got a thing. Electrifier charges the spacesuit, electrifying any creatures on contact. Uh, okay, it's not. Okay, so maybe if they touch me, they automatically die? Presumably. I have no idea. It's not a weapon. Go away. Whoa. Okay. Save, please. That's cool. If it means that they die, if they touch me, that's going to be very helpful for those butterflies. Right. HP for no good reason. I'm going to teleport down here. I'm going to explore this bit with my newfound power. Hopefully, I can. Hopefully, I can spot something. Spot something decent. All being well. Uh, okay. Right, save point down here. Wait. I just come from here. I teleport to the exact same location. Okay. <laughs> right, let's try and not be stupid this time. There we go, this is definitely the other location. I was thinking, this looks very familiar. Okay. Uh, I think that's a path to the right. I need to go up. Go away. I'm getting better at aiming at those. I think maybe I was just a bad aim before. No. Yeah, I think I was just a bad aim before. I'm definitely getting a lot better with those guys. Okay. Going right just leads us back. So let's go left. I feel like they put the teleport there for a reason. Oh, that just leads us back to here. Okay, that's still okay because we can go this way. Okay, yeah, I was right. So they do die on contact. That's very useful. I'm not going to get bombarded with stuff, at least. Ooh, ah! Oh, secrets. Well, that was completely accidental. Huh. 
Can I get back to the top of that? Because I want that upgrade. Go away. Well, that sort of worked. Sort of. Not quite going where I need to be, but I sort of am. Okay, I'm not sure I'll be able to get up to there. Uh. Yeah, I have a feeling that's probably our reach. Yeah, that's our reach. There's no way I'm getting there. I might be able to, but I don't think so. Okay, this is going to lead us back to where we were earlier, which is fine. Just means we're going to have to loop around a little bit. We still filled in some of the path, at the very least. Oh, sugar! Just forget about those crab fellas. Quite a difficult spot. Well, okay, solid. This should put us back, maybe, to where we were before. Okay, okay this puts us back at the beginning. Right. So let's go and save. Is there anything worthwhile in there? Hmm. This looks like a new area to explore, but I kind of want what I missed before, the upgrade. Okay, so we're back here. Might have to loop round, but hopefully it's going to be worth it. I don't know what that upgrade was, but if it's something like extra help or something, I'll be very happy. I'm not going to be able to get over there, but I can get up there. Ah, I missed it again. Now the question is, do I try and loop around again? Because there's no easy way of getting there, is there? I don't think. Maybe there is. It doesn't look like it. it. Looks like there is potentially a path to the right. Yeah, it looks like there is a path to the right. Maybe I need some kind of like morph ball type shenanigans. I'm gonna try one more getting that upgrade, one more time. And if I fail, then I'm just gonna go what I assume to be the intended path. Because I really want that upgrade. It was bugging me before. Ah, that's why I didn't see the bugger. It buries into the ground. You sneaky so-and-so. Well, I feel a little bit better now that I wasn't just being completely blind. I was being a little bit blind. I just didn't see him come out. What do you mean you can't see my face? It's directly in front of the camera. Whoa. Okay, so let's try again. So we've looped back around to here. We're off. And we want to go down. Well, I say we want to go down. I want to go down at the very least. Ah! Hmm. 
There we go. Storage expansion. Increases maximum ammo storage by three. Aha, I have six now. That was worth it. Maybe. Uh, there's no other way I can go. I can go down there, but it looks like it just links to the bottom area. So I don't think it'll necessarily be worth it. I do kind of want to go back to a save point, just purely for the fact that I could do with saving. I might need to go back to that save point anyway, near, near the beginning. Right, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get down here. It looks like I can. So I think I need to go back to where that save point is anyway. Which is fine. Oh, yeah. Ah! Should be okay. Because the save point isn't far. Okay, I tried jumping over there, didn't I? And I can't reach there. I'll just try it once more time from here. Okay, I definitely can't make it up there. I'm fully satisfied now that I can get up there. Which means we are going back to the save point and going through that other route I saw. Which is good, just purely for the fact that we're passing the save point now. Ah. Yeah. The good thing is, it seems like I can use my invincibility frames to take out the other. Ah. I don't need to worry about ammo. Again, save point. Because we can go up there, but more importantly we can go in here. Good, I'm glad I got that upgrade. I was thinking I'm pretty sure I can get it. And as it turns out, I could. Okay, no, that's where I was at before. I need to go further down. That's no, okay. It's down here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, go away. I'm just gonna use that. I don't. Oh no! Probably should have used my upgrade. Well, that room didn't go too well. No! I'm not going to be able to get up there, am I? You swine. Okay. So I can't go left after the upgrade bit. I'm pretty sure I can go left. Because that way I tried and I reached two eight dead ends. I got to the water. And I got to a jump that I'm pretty sure you can't make. Whatever. When I say whatever, I'm actually quite low on health. I probably shouldn't be so flippant. I can't get across there. So down. I can go in here. And then where? Maybe over to the right. I can see a blue area and it looks like there's an entry to the right there. So I could potentially do that. I'm trying to think about where to go. Oh, I can actually fit in here. I can squeeze in the hole. But that's just going to take me down here. I'm going to do it anyway. Just be... Whoa, hello. Just because. A 
be okay here, right? Go away. Son of a gun. You're gonna hit me again, innit? What? How about you use your stupid little ability? Ah! You got me. You got me. Hmm. I can't go back up, can I? We'll try going up. We'll try taking a little bit of a detour, just so we can, at the very least, rule this one out. I'm pretty sure I can't use that. Yeah. Nor can we go up. I imagine we probably want to restore electricity or something like that, presumably, in order to use the elevator. I would imagine. So we can't go up there. Going left was a no go because all that area to the left, as I say, was pretty much impassable. Go away. Ah. Oh. And we can't go to the right, surprisingly. Surprisingly, because now I'm not entirely sure where I can go. So let's go to the left. die there before, but I think this is at least doable. I'm going to have to let my shield, to be honest. Because then, I can at least do that. again. Oops. Doesn't reach as high as this though. That's something. Where does it reach up to? Okay, so I'm okay on the higher ledge. But then I need to run. Run, run, run! You see, and then he's taking a little bit of a sucker punch there. Anywhere. Okay, across here. Oh! Poop! No! Well, that didn't go so well. I'm definitely going... Well, I'm not necessarily going in the right direction, but I'm not heading to where I thought I was going to go. I'm going to hop across there, to be honest. I don't want to use my special ability. Okay, that's fine. Oh, shoot. My health is not so great. Okay, we'll see if he gives us a health drop. He seems to be a little bit stingy. Oh no. We are getting at least something from him. We're getting some kind of item. So hopefully he can drop... Even if I can just get to like maybe 5 HP or something, just to give myself a little bit of... Well, security, I suppose. 
because I do not want to be dying. Thank you very much. We've got Demon Butterflies and Rising Lava. A dangerous combination, I may say so myself. This reminds me of the original Metroid. You get to like a really difficult part, and then you just be like, yeah, I'm not happy with how my health is at the moment. Let's just grind like little beetles or something. Until we reach full health. We'll happily pick up the ammo as well. Until we've got full ammo at least. Just so I can use maybe a shield or something. Just something for a little bit of extra protection, you know? Ooh, hello. Hello. Okay. Full armor. Give me one more health upgrade, and then I'll move on. Just what the doctor ordered. Go away. Right, so platforms, there. You son of a gun. That was like the worst possible time you could fire. And get rid of him. Uh, he is okay now. No! Well, that was sort of lucky, I guess. Give me health. Damn it. Well, he'd have dropped in a while, but anyway. Now where? You see, this looks like it's probably going to lead us back to where I was before. Oh, but we've got an upgrade, so that's fine. Downward thrusters. Thrust. Thrust. It's a nice word to say. Thrust. Downwards. To quickly reach the ground. With enough height, releasing a damaging shockwave that can damage enemies along its path. Press L to activate. Okie dokie. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, and he's brought us back to here. That's me. Not entirely sure where it's going to help. Well, it's still a new thing. Because here we have a save point as long as I don't piss around and mess up. So we can at the very least save our new upgrade. Awesome. Right, but well with that saved, I'm going to go for a quick pee and I will be right back. So I'll see you in just a moment. And I'm back. Hope everyone's still well. Okay, let's see where the feck I need to go. It looks like, I can't really view, but there's not a white line to the right of this room. It seems to, oh, look at this shit. I was going to say, it looks like it's hiding secrets. It is hiding secrets. Secrets I can't get to. Neat. Right, there's nothing down. Hmm. What the fuck are these downward thrusters going to do? Either way, I think I'm best off teleporting. I don't think there's anything for me in this area. The heck's that crap doing? Right. Yeah, because if you look around here, there's not really anything I can go to. They've all got white walls around it, apart from the space above the save room. I mean, I could be going there, I suppose. 
we might as well then check it out. We'll see if we can get there. Oh wait. Cool. Well, we can definitely get there. So that's something. Go away. Don't know why I jumped down here to pick up that upgrade. I've already got full upgrades. Okay, yeah, I have been here. So we can go up from this side. Okay, we came down this side. So this is where we can go up, but there's no room up. And I don't think I'll even be able to make the jump up to get back to where I was. Okay, that's fine. We'll go for a quick save again. And then we'll teleport. I'm just going for a quick save because it's an easy way to get a few HP back. Sorted. That crab is having problems again. And we want to be up here. I just need to check where the line is, it's not really clear. See if we can get back there. Here we go. This is where we want to be. Hmm. So I could go down and right, which I think is where I want to head, because that's where the blue area is. And I'm sort of attracted to the blue area. Because it's a nice fancy colour and it looks a little bit different to the rest. Ah! Okay. We didn't lose as much health as I expected. Thankfully, due to our suit upgrade more than anything. Oh! Go away. Well, thanks for that. Good thing I don't need any weapon energy. with relative frequency to be honest, I probably don't need to be worrying about using it too much. I mean honestly there's not that much need. I find against the butterflies, unless you're lucky, they're probably not going to line up anyway, so it's best for enemies that are a little bit further away. Oh! I knew that was going to happen. Still did it. health I've lost. Uh, okay, we're at least back to the blue bit. I might have to grind a little bit of HP. Or at the very least we can do that to kill the dude. Come on. Oh, because I think we couldn't get to there before. We can probably get... No, we can't. That's fine. Okay, so this is different. We can use that to go up. Can we... Oh, we can use that to go down as well. Aha, uh -huh. so that's... Kind of sneaky. Dr. Feldman sent the security droid into the Reef of Waters. To collect some samples. We lost contact about 30 minutes afterwards. I'm afraid the sentient, civiliz sentient civilization that lives down there does not like visitors. Well, neither do I. Oh, and there's a safe point nearby. I can probably use that. Okay. Can I get back up if I. Yes, I can. That's good. So our downward thrusters can get past the air things. 
That's useful to know. Oh, look at that! I would say that that dodging skill was skill, but it was nothing but pure luck. Oh, pants. The pants party. Okay, so that's fine, because we can go like this and go boop. And it's all good. If I prefer to go down here than up there, if I'm honest. Can I use this to go underwater? I cannot. Right. Well, I guess we are going up. And we're going all the way up to the top because there's not really anywhere else I can go apart from like here. But it's okay. Whoa! Hello. Well, I don't like the look of those. Oh, and those are, there's a jumping fellow we saw earlier. That's fine, we got him. Okay, so what's going on here? I assume we want to be in this area. Because I don't necessarily ah, see where else we can be. This looks like a dangerous area though. So at the very least, I want to be careful. Oh, well, I'm not careful with my jumping. Thankfully, we have some relative safety. Okay. I had a feeling I was going to fall down there. Go away. The heck is that thing? What's that monstrosity? No, we can kill him for a start. There we go. The dash seems to be a tad responsive, like sometimes it doesn't seem to work. First I thought it was my controller, but now I'm not so sure. I'll have to try it, like I'm using the Joy-Cons at the moment. And the reason I use the Joy-Cons is that as much as I like the 8-bit door, it's very clickety-clackety, you know? Whenever you press the buttons, it always seems to be, it seems to make a point of it. I'll show you how to make it does around here. There it is. Like, here's my 8-bit though. If I use that... It's not very stream friendly, you know. Like, you can hear the buttons. Whereas if I do this... You can't really hear anything. Which is good. I don't like the click clackiness. Like sometimes you kind of have to use it, depending on the game, but if I don't have to use it, I usually don't, unless it's in my own time. If it's in my own time, I just use it. Right, Dr. Hemmerich's hazard suit is progressing very nice. Current plan is to give it another weapon for defence, to improve the harvesting clause usability. It doesn't seem quite sharp enough to break into the cold, frozen earth, however the acid-resistant coating is 100% worth. Right, so this is either referring to a potential boss, maybe the true bad guy of the game, or maybe it's just hinting at future upgrades. Where the next. Ooh, we got a snake. Yeah. What a safe point. Right, this just seems to be leading further up. I think if there's any chance of a safe point, it's going to be the other way. But we'll explore the other way for a little bit just to see if there's anything over here. Okay, we've got a teleport. Well, that's fine. Can we teleport an area safe? Yes, we can. Okay. Let's go down here, just just so we can save. 
because if I die, the last save point was a fair while ago. It was back before the, the air shoe. And I don't want to have to redo all that again. I mean, it wasn't amazingly difficult. It's just, you know, nobody likes losing time. Especially when you've only got like a couple of health left. That is definitely something we do not want to be doing. We can actually shoot downwards. Learn something new an hour and a half into the game. Okay, let's go to this teleportal, shall we? I don't think I was actually stood in the teleport there, it seemed like I was half out of it. Cool. Now, we'll go up. We'll take a little bit of care with these dudes. These are weird looking creatures, I will say. Okay, I can definitely go up there, but do I want to? Oh, for goodness sake. I use the teleport to get to a save point. There's a save point, like, right there. The point, like, this was the point where I said, hmm, let's go back the other way. And I was right next to it. Never mind, we've got the teleport at least. I think we're going to use a railgun to take care of that dude. So I want to be safer rather than sorry. Because we seem to be in a reasonable amount of drops for weapons. So I'm not entirely concerned about that. Sorry, I'm just kind of focusing. I'm trying to think about where I'm going here. Okay, what are we going down here? Okay, broadcast message. This is TSC headquarters. We have a report that our rival Iri has deployed a new prototype android to your facility on Pedis. Hey, Mune! Huh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, we need everyone to evacuate now. Yeah, I do think occasionally. I've had to think quite a lot, because I've had to work my way around this base trying to explore. That seems to be it full on with stuff. Oh, hello. Let's go across here. I mean, we can just go in here. We don't have to worry about that guy yet. Waste processing. Okay, so I can go... Can I go up? I can probably go up. Go away. I can go up, I can go left, I can go right. I hate it when I've got too many options to choose from, you know. Because it's just like, do I go up, do I go left, or do I go right? And I'll probably pick the wrong way. I'm gonna go up. Oh, go up and then right. Shit. Even more options. Not like in the look of this way. Okay, so this has got water. Ah, spider! going on with a spider. I think I've just deactivated it maybe? I don't know. Either way, let's go away from the spider, shall we? Uh, what's all this down? Oh! Hello? Hello there, good sir. We have bounciness. I'm not liking the look of this enemy. Whoops. Well, shit. It's going alright. It's pretty challenging, I'm not going to lie, it's quite hard. When you get used to it, it definitely gets easier, but it is, oh shit. I mean, it probably doesn't help that I'm not very careful. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll go a, ah! We'll go a different route. So before we went up, we'll go left. Which was over here. Yeah, we're going to waste this buzz off. We'll see what's around here. But the game's pretty fun. The only real problem the game has. What's down here? Is there anything or no? Okay, it just seems like it's nothing. Okay, that's fine. 
I just wanted to check, you know, sometimes there are things. The only real problem with this game is that it's a Metroidvania. And Metroidvania is a very oversaturated market type. Look! Ah! That's fine, I was asking for that. There are, like, even on the Switch, there's an absolute ton of Metroidvanias, and I have, like, a lot as well. And I don't even have, like, half. You know, you've got things like Bloodstained, you've got The Mummy, you've got this, Monster Boy, uh, what else have you got? There's another game uh, where you control a ball, which I don't remember the name of. There's another one that's a pinball one, uh, Yoki's Island Express. There's Axiom Verge, of course, which is like one of the big ones. There's just so many in the genre. And like, the funny thing is, we've got all these Metroidvanias, and yet, there's not really any Castlevania or Metroid games. I mean, we have a collection of the old Castlevania games, but like, the old Castlevania games, like, proper platformers. So the only Castlevania games we've actually got on the system aren't actually Metroidvania titles, interestingly. And whilst we do have some Metroid titles, they're just like virtual console stuff. Well, not virtual console, because there's no virtual console, but you know, the um, Switch Online stuff. So you can play Super Metroid and you can play Metroid 1. I think those are the only two available. I don't think we want to be touching this. Okay, that's exactly what we want to be doing. Look at my skills. I'm like a pro gamer. Pro gamer skills. Maybe. Maybe pro gamer skills, or maybe not. Oh, wait. This is fun. I like this little gimmick. Using your springs and then your dash. It's very well done. We're off. The fuck is this thing? Ah! Ah! All that progress. All that progress down the shitter. I will say as well that one of the gripes about the games, the game being difficult, is that I don't think there's frequent enough save points. Like sometimes you get sufficient save points and it's fine, but then other times the game is just like, nope, we're not gonna let you save. Graf. Well, thanks to next little save point. So even though I've lost a couple of health points, I can at least get them back. Like, the initial period of the game, it was a really long time before I got to a save point. Or I got to a save point, it was a long time before the second one. Yeah, I think it was that. Either way, there was quite a period of time, and I had to redo this section a bunch of times. Just because I kept dying. Ah! I mean, that's my fault. I mean, one thing you can do, I suppose, is like some of the enemies you can grind for health at least. But I don't really want to do a lot of grinding. I think if you're grinding for health just to get past something, it's probably not well designed. But I mean, I find I do that like in the original Metroid and stuff anyway, so it's not necessarily a problem in the game. As such, probably more a problem with me. So we know we're not touching those. I'd say it's probably not as much progress as I thought it was. It probably just seemed like a lot because I was being scared. Run away! Go away. Without that weapon, 
the, I don't know, like the shield weapon thing. Which I'd show you, but I've got no ammo for it. But without that thing, those things are just off. There we go, we got through. Oh shit! Ah! Okay, so we're back to where I got to before. And we did the same fucking thing again. We died at the same point. Ah! Okay, I'll take a little bit more care this time. I can't believe I died at the exact same point. I'm an idiot. Okay, so this thing is what I was talking about. So it's like a sort of shield. It's like the Mega Man shield, really. Like the Mega Man shield is very similar. I don't know if this is my controller or whether it's the game, but like sometimes your little boost thing doesn't seem to want to work. I have a feeling it's probably the Joy-Cons, just because the Joy-Con has so many problems in itself. I'll have to test it with the 8-bit though and see if I'm still having the problems, because I'm definitely pressing the button. Ammo please. Okay, you can bugger off. That's fine. Like, sometimes it works fine. And then sometimes it seems to be a little bit unresponsive. Like there, I'm, like I'm pressing the button as hard as I can. So it's not like I'm pressing it badly. Oh. That. Well. Not so a lot of health, but not too bad, I suppose. Problem is, we've got very little health here. Okay, killed the thing. And I've got some health. But I seem to be walking very slowly. I don't know if that was your man's fault or what. I don't like the look of these buggers. Go away. Oh, look at that! Wasn't even trying to do that. <gasps> Shit on it. Yeah, I'm blaming the controller, but the, um, I am having some problems with my Joy-Cons. So it could potentially be that. Oh, I can't believe I died there. I was so close. For goodness sake. Right. Back to save we go. I can't believe it. This game is brutal. Okay, let's try again. Ideally, I'd like to get a weapon drop or something from something. If I can get a weapon drop, then I just stand a little bit of an extra, sort of, just a little bit of an extra chance, you know? If I can use the weird kind of shield thing against those bubble enemies, because nothing else seems to really work effectively against them, apart from the bubble shield. I call it the bubble shield just because I don't know the actual name. So unfortunately you go into the start menu and you can't really see anything. You can see the map, but you can't see like the weapon upgrades you've got. Come on you fecker. Okay, well, I've got full health at least, that's something. So far, so good. Go away. Ah! Ah! 
I think rushing through that's probably the best way. Bugger off. Okay. Like, so, oh, shit off. Damn it. I had like, what, five health or something there? And then I got hit by that bloody thing. Son of a gun. Now I've got three health again. You bugger. That thing was in the other side before. That was a dick move. That's not my fault. You... That was my fault because I jumped badly. Don't believe that. That's annoying. Don't laugh. It's not funny. <laughs> Try again. You swine. Fine. At least I know for that one section with all the bubbles, the best solution is just to leg it. Like pretty much just speed run through the thing. I fucker off. Well, I got a chunk of help. I could go through this room, but like the only way I'd be able to do it is to. Well, I can get help that way, I suppose. Yeah, he's firing loads of stuff. I'm best off just going this way. But now I have no ammo. So I used it against that thing for help. And I'm probably going to lose more health because I wasted the ammo trying to get the health. Ironically. Or moronically, as the case may be. Go away. Let me get hit that time at least. Fuck off. Fuck off! Fuck off! What the hell is that thing? That wasn't there before! Now there's new enemies! Causing me grief. Fuck it off! Yeah, go away. Go away! Determined to get past this section. That was a dick move, though. That was a dick move game. Right. Using my shield on that. In fact, I think I might try and save it. That big blob thing. I might try and save some ammunition on that and use only one laser. And then use gunfire for the rest. That might be the best solution. Maybe. We'll give it a shot. Okay, that was a good solution. Okay. I didn't get any ammunition, but I saved a little ammunition. And in the end, isn't that the most important thing? Oh! Fuck. Run! Oh, I fell! Obviously I fell, because I'm an idiot. Get up! Okay, nine. Did I get the other thing? Yes, I did. Ooh, 
Give me, give me, give me. Health. Go away. Right, the game is playing nice this time. Thank you, look at that full health. Full health, health. Well, there's a lot of enemies there, but it's just how to deal with them. If you've got the shield thing, you can kind of eat up. But I was struggling with ammunition. There we go. What's this down here? Nothing. Uh, up. Boop. Can I? No. Maybe I can do this. Oh, look at that. Speed strategies. I'm doing a speed run of this game now. Platform skip. I mean, I'm also falling off the platform, so it's not really helping a lot. But it's awesome. Oh, God. In fact, it's probably helping me very little. But still, I felt good doing it, and that's the most important thing. The important thing is that we have fun. Give me a save point, oh my goodness. Give me a save point, please. Oh my god, you can back off. Okay, that's fine. In case it wasn't that thing making me slow. Or maybe it is one of the moves it can do. Because now I'm confused about why I went slowly in that area. Look how far the save point is. I've gone all the way around here. Still no save. Oh, we've got an upgrade though. We've got a thing. Grenade launcher. Fire grenades to deal large amounts of damage. May also have an effect on some walls. Okay, I was thinking I saw a wall earlier, and that's this wall. Boom. Right. Now we can save. Thank goodness for that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We can save. Sabe. Uh, da -da -da -da. So we went left before, we went up as well, shit, and that was a little bit tough, so I think I'm going to try going right this time. See look, if you've got the bubble, it takes care of them, whoops, got hit by a, an acid grenade or something, it's fine, it didn't do too much damage. So before we went up there, so let's try going right. Okay. Oops. I changed weapon. Didn't want to do that. Um, I think that's where I wanted to go. I can go down as well, but let's go across. Okay, what's up here? Darkness. Data log. The bugs found in the forest here have very reactive shells. Further research is required, but believe, we believe these will be invaluable for energy storage. Unfortunately, harvesting them may prove difficult. Okie dokie. They may indeed. That looks like something I don't want to touch. Okay, no. Oh, yes. A little bit. Oh, I think there was a ledge there. I think it was only in the middle that was acid. Okay, that's fine. We were just sort of experimenting with that. Oops. That was the practice playthrough. Now we're on to the real deal. I probably could have saved ammunition by not killing that guy as well, in hindsight. Never mind. Uh, 
we'll try going up this time. I can't remember how difficult up was. So we'll go the up route and see what's there. I think the up route was this way, right? So jumping. Oh, sick. Oh. Boop. Ah! Well, sort of worked, I guess. Okay, so here we could go right or we could go left. Right, we can go because we can go underwater. So that's good, at least that's answered that question. Oh, we have the bubbly things. We have this dude again. That's fine. We can wait for him to come a little bit further down, please. Will you? No, he doesn't want to. Whoa. Um, okay, I think I walked into a few more bullets than I should have done. Oh. Okay, yeah, I had to jump across that. That was my bad. Okay, that's not too bad. That's just me being terrible in the game. Oh, and that's me definitely being terrible in the game, jumping into the electricity or whatever it is. Okay. Let's stick my balls on that enemy. Unfortunately, I've lost quite a lot of health already. Just through general carelessness. But it's fine, I guess. Oops. Oh! I asked for that. But yeah, you see what I mean by being tricky? There's a lot of stuff you need to kind of deal with, and you need to sort of be aware about how best to deal with them. Like I say, those ball enemies seem to be best taken out with my bubble shield. avoid that this time and not get hit by it. I'll probably help. And some enemies you just have to sort of avoid. Whoops. One thing I think the game should have though, which it doesn't seem to have, or at least it doesn't seem to be very prevalent, is Coyote Time. I don't know if you're aware of that. I mentioned it earlier on in the stream. Uh, you weren't here. But Coyote Time is like when you can run off a ledge and still be fine. So you know when you do like edge jumps in Mario? You're not actually doing edge jumps. Really, you're sort of jumping past the edge. And the game's going, yeah, no, no. Fuck. Balls this up. Big time. Let's see if we can... Damn it! Oh! Hey, that was my problem. So yeah, you actually jump in just after you leave the ledge. And this doesn't seem to have that, because I've done some ledge jump type things like earlier on in the game, and I just kept falling down. Like, I'll, I'll show you a point where it's not gonna be a pain in the ass getting back up. Like here, I'll do it. So if I try and do a ledge jump, I just fall down like that. Like I'm jumping like as soon as he's getting to the edge, and it seems like even when you get to the edge, it's kind of too late. So you can't even jump on the edge of the edge. I mean, I could be wrong. It could be that the hitbox is correct. But, it seems like, it looks like I'm right at the edge and still not hitting it. He 
didn't actually realise you could kill them, to be honest. There we go. There we go, easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I like the outside bit, you start in the outside. And I like the rain and the music and everything. Unfortunately, it's led to fucking nowhere. It's, well, I'm pretty sure that the top left of that room, there's not going to be anything. I kind of want to check just to make sure, but I think going that path is going to lead to a dead end. Which was the upper path to the left, and then the right was also a dead end. So I think the upper route isn't the way to go at all. I think. I could be wrong, but it seems that way. Oops. Wrong. Okay, we've still got a fair amount of health. Let's activate my shield, just to be on the safe side. No, there's nothing up here. So much so that I'm going to kill myself, just because I don't think there's any point heading back, because the other route was near the save point anyway. So it wouldn't necessarily be quicker doing that. Okay, well that's good to know. Boom, I missed. Did I? Oh, I did miss. Look at me. My fucking skills shot. There we go. Let's try heading right this time. Kill the fox. Oops. Um, I can just jump over here. Huh? Yeah, there we go. Right, I think this led to the acid bath, in it? Well, let's go down here and see what's down here. Because so we didn't go there before. Uh, okay, we don't want to go down here. There's acid and darkness. Oops. See, yeah, if we use that, we can pretty much deal with all of those ball things quite easily oops apart from i'm not very good yeah i think this is a platform in it yeah it is a platform i couldn't see it before i just saw like the green thing and i thought is that like a green slime block or something oh you son of a bitch you know i kind of thought that was going to happen and it did happen. Okay, we're jumping up here. Bird. Ah, this is dark. Okay. Whoops. Took a little bit of an acid bath there. Well, let's get past this part. I reckon we'll see our way past this acid section. And then maybe we'll call it a day. I've been going for quite a long time on stream, to be honest. I didn't think I'd be playing it this long, in fairness. But it has that kind of, I'll just get a little bit further kind of feeling to it. Which is definitely good for a game to have. The only thing I'd say about the game is that if you're wanting to play it, I think easy mode is probably a legitimate op uh, you know, option to do. Because normal mode is pretty tricky. Come on. You can fly through solid objects, but I cannot. Kind of interesting. Get up. I don't trust this. This looks like it's not going to go well for me. 
This looks like I'm gonna fly into an acid pit or something. Okay. To infinity and the oh. Well, that didn't do what I expected. Maybe if I dashed through it I would have gone further. I just kind of went through it. I really need help. You gonna give me health, Mr. Spider? No. Neither are you. Okay, cool. I don't know what that white thing is. He seems to drop ammo drops. Can you drop health as well, Mr. Spider? I think maybe he just consistently drops ammo. Apart from this one time where he gave me nothing. Will you give me anything? No, just a headache. He even drops health. He does drop health. Nice! I'm liking this spider. Oh! <gasps> I just dashed into the fucker. I dashed into the twat. <laughs> I meant to shoot him and I have absolutely no idea why I pressed the boost button. But I did it. Oh, draw full Mooney. Um, well, we went out and we spent some time at a parent's place and then when we got back we were both kind of tired so we never did it. And it didn't seem like you were about, by the sounds of it. So we just thought, oh, we'll, we'll skip it for tonight. Maybe we'll do it later on tonight. Uh, oh, maybe. I think the wife has plans and I can put it on there. I think, like, oh yeah, I think she's taking photos or something for her cousin later on. Which is good, maybe I'll do another stream later. Might do like an impromptu Mario Maker stream or something. Oh, I've already looked at that. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Right, let's just ignore Mr. Birdie there. He seems to be more of a pain in the ass than anything. Um, I don't quite get that, I don't know if that's not working properly or something. But even dashing through it didn't seem to do anything. Oh, hey, bird. Well, if I... Oh, pants! Okay, well, if I go through here... The bird's not going to be alerted, at least. Weapon? Yeah, I do need some weapon and energy, to be honest. Thank you, Mr. Spider. Maybe it depends on how fast you're shooting. Maybe it's like a minigame kind of bonus thing. Oh! Ah! The heck was that all about? No, uh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just... I thought the lights on in might factor in as to what you get, but I think it's just random. I think it's just like a normal enemy drop. Apart from maybe slightly more frequently. Well, that could just be luck. Yeah, I think it's just luck. Because look, he's not dropping anything now. That's fine now. We'll get to six energy, and then we'll carry on. I just want enough to give me like a little bit of a buffer, because I'm very careless and not very good. So having an extra health buffer would probably be beneficial for me. Damn. Come on. HP me. I 
why I went to pick that up. I'll tell you what, I'll do it three more times, and if he's still going to give me a health drop, then bollocks to him. Actually, enough. But one HP drop, sod it. Right, let's see ya. Screw you, I'm going home. Okay, that's a white snake. What's that? It is snot. Oh, I think you shoot that and then it... No, maybe not. I was thinking you shoot that and the barriers disappear. Well, maybe so. Maybe that one gets rid of this barrier. Can I use my grenade launcher, maybe? That's fine, that's just a waste of ammunition then. Maybe if I shoot this one? Aha! Nice! And that must have done something somewhere. You can screw off Mr. Bird. I see you. you. Pesky swine! Gotcha! And I got a bit of health for my trouble. Okay. Now where? Ooh, there's an upgrade up there. No idea what that is, it looks like a big red ball. And if there's one thing I like, it's a big red ball. Oh, there's another one. That must be like a health or an ammo upgrade or something. Anyway, that log. Our rivals, the Illy, work with robotics. I've heard of rumours that they've managed to create a Class C, Class S, was an S, not a 5 is it? Yeah, it's an S. Military droid. Our own scientists have managed to create a small Class C droid. I'm afraid we're falling behind. I know, C's quite early on in the alphabet. What is this? Nothing. That seems to have been stuck in the wall. Okie dokie, that's fine. Oh, I know what it is. It's fucking decoration. I'm an idiot. I don't know if you know this, Mooney, but I am an actual idiot. Uh, right, we're going to go down here. Purely because it's near a save point. And then, I'll walk back. Although not my luck, I'm going to walk back and then I'm going to walk two steps and get to another safe one. But never mind, best safe than sorry. I've made a lot of progress and I do not want to do all that again. So I'd rather just teleport here quickly, save and then go back. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, bugger off. Go away! Right, nice. Made a fair bit of progress on this. And we are back. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that snake because screw the snake. Ignore the birds. Just screw the birds. And there's a save point here, just like I predicted. But it's fine. As I say, I'd rather waste a little bit of time trying to get to the safe point than wasting a lot of time by dying and having to redo it all again. We're off. Um, what? Oh. I cannot get down here. My downward boost does not seem to want to work. I think it must be too strong. Or I need like an extra upgrade or something for it. I'm not sure. Either way, I cannot use it. Okay. I'm going to save because I've lost like a crap ton of health. You joking me? Make me go higher. I want to get high. 
Right, let's think. I've got a grenade launcher. That's new. And I've got a stomp. There's not really anything more I can do. Let's head back to that big room. Because worst case scenario, I die. And I go back to this save room, which is right next to the teleporter anyway. It's not going to be a huge loss. Like, I can't jump past this, can I? And if I can't jump past that, I don't think there's really much else I can do. So I think in that tall room, there's nowhere I can go. Like, I can't even get up here. Hmm. Well, I just commit suicide. Okay, this is taking longer than I expected. Okay, that's fine. Because that's put us back here, at least. So I can't go left. I can't go back up. And I can go through the green barrier, so I have to find another way to where that is. So the only thing I can do, really, is use the teleport and go somewhere else. The question is, where else? Hmm. Not much here. I want to say here and then maybe go left? I'm not sure. I'm honestly not entirely sure. We'll have a wonder, we'll have a gander, we'll see whereabouts we end up. But I'm not sure where to go now because as I say I'm stuck in like a little bit of a quandary here. As to where to go next. Ah! Well, we can. Oops. We can use a little bubble thing for that. Restock on some health. Mm. I think we want to be going up here, maybe, and then left. I'd really love an upgrade that makes my gun less poopy. Because at the moment, it has like zero range. And it's a little bit annoying. Yeah, all the way to the left. Ah! Well, I lost a massive amount of health there. Okay, I can go all the way left there because there's a thing. So where was that other section I found? I think it was back up top. I think. Boop. That was a really bad idea. Thanks. Let's go grab that power up. I think I can head back up. Yeah, I can. I can use my little booster thing to get back up. Probably. Ooh, health. Thank you very much, good sir. Ah! Easy come, easy go. Oops. Well, it don't matter. It don't matter because I'm just going to be here and then I can just use the teleporter again. And I think I want to be heading up and then left. But I'm thinking if you look at where that save point is, where I was before, there's a little bit to the left and there's an open area there and I think I know where that is. I think I remember. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I remember.
kind of want to see where I want to go next before I kind of stress too much about saving and leaving. Go away. Gonna use this. Aha! Feel my bubble power. Like at the start of the game, those enemies are the most annoying things because they really kind of lock onto your position. And they come at awkward angles. But once you get that bubble grade, bubble shield upgrade, they're not too bad. And I've got another upgrade as well, which electrifies my suit. What was it over this way? Was it water or something? What was blocking this way? I think maybe there was a jump I couldn't do. Yeah, I can get up there. Okay, that's fine. If we can get to this safe point, then we're kind of fine. So let's go in. And, oh, hey! See if we can get to this safe point without dying. not die just before it like last time. Hmm. So left here, right? I think I'm gonna wanna go up a little bit and then left. Yeah, I think it's this left. Okay, so what's up this way? Okay, so yeah, I think this is the area of what I thought about before. I don't think I can make any progress though, so I definitely can't jump across there. Because look, if I, if I jump from like here, it's way too far. And even if I jump from a little bit closer, I'm still not going to make it. So let's try exploring this way. I don't remember what the heck was this way. And there's war. I can't do anything with the war. So war is pretty much a no-go. And this is too high. Ooh. Oh. So, where do we want to go? If we can't go left there, we can go right above the teleporter. We can go where that save room is, we can go back up because the elevator is non-functional and there doesn't really seem to have been anything to indicate that the elevator is now functional. We can try it I suppose, but I think I'm going to be out of luck. Please don't die. Went underneath them. What was underneath? Oh yeah, I can I can see them underneath. That's fine. Ah! Stop being careless. Okay, cool. I'm fine. I'm all right. I'm safe. So we just want to go straight up. I mean, I did save, didn't I? I could just die. I did save at that save point, so I could just do this the faster way and just uh, do a quick reset like this. Okay, so this is where we were before, but like I can't really do anything with that. Does the computer system say anything else? Yeah, 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 okay, that's fine. The same stuff. 
and I can't get up there. So that's a no-go. So up there's a no-go either. The up area where I had to bounce up those things, that was a dead end. We had a high wall. We had a couple of high walls. So the only thing I can think of is to the right. Right? So if you look at where that other save point is down there, we've got a blue section that's got an area to the right. And then we've got another area in the long passage to the right. They're potential areas that we could go to. Potential. Well, it's a game pretty much like uh, Metroid and stuff. It's all about exploration. And just like those old games, you don't get told where to go, you just have to figure it out. Ah, I feel I'm here again. Uh, fuck. I don't have to go all the way around there. Right, I'll tell you what, I am going to call it a day there. I was going to go on for a little bit longer. I know I said I was just going to do the acid bit, and then I was like, I'm just going to find out where to go. Um, but I think if I keep on doing that, I'm just going to say, I'm going to go a little bit further, a little bit further. But I've been going on for two and a half hours now. So I've experienced a fair amount of the game. Two and a half hours, and I'm clocking in at one, one hour and eight. So it means that literally half of my time has been dying and redoing parts. Uh, okay, so I'm going to finish off with just like my in quick impressions of the game to give you an idea about, you know, what I thought about it. Uh, the game is a budget title. It's like 10 euros or something so very much a budget title and pretty much seems like a neat metroidvania i've played quite a few metroidvanias ghost axiom verge so the metroid and castlevania games bloodstained etc and you do kind of get a bit worn out on the genre so i think that the game kind of shoots itself in the foot by being a metroidvania but at the same time it does have quite an addictive quality to it the upgrades so far have been quite interesting because there's nothing really comparable to like the Metroid games. Like you find that the upgrades from the Metroid game, like the double jump and uh, like wall jump and stuff like that, and speed boost, you get similar items in every game. Like normally the first item you get is going to be a double jump and then you've got something to get into tight areas. And I've not experienced anything like that. I've got a grenade launcher to blow down walls. I've got like a stomp kind of move and I've got like an air dash. And then aside from that, I've not really got any kind of upgrade that would really compare to like the Metroid series on most of those games. So it does seem like it wants to do something a little bit different in terms of the upgrade that gives, which uh, I would certainly say is commendable. The difficulty I do think is a little bit too much. There's a lot of space between save points, which wouldn't be a problem if the game wasn't insanely brutal. But obviously some people that like harder games will probably appreciate that. Um, however, I would kind of mark this difficulty as hard and then maybe easy as normal. Because I think for like the average player, just kind of going into it, you're going to die a lot. Like, as I say, like half of my time has been dying and replaying, which, you know, can be frustrating for a lot of people. I mean, I'm, I would say I'm, I got average gaming skills. I'm kind of good in some things and then kind of bad in other things. But like this kind of game, I'm sort of okay. I'm not fantastic, but I would say I'm representative of the average gamer in terms of my skill set. And I think a lot of people would die on this. For like people who are hardcore, normal difficulty is probably more than enough. Um, but I would say if you're like a hardcore veteran, if you see a hard mode, you're probably going to opt for the hard mode. Maybe put like a description saying that it's for Metroidvania veterans. But either way, it's still quite cool. I wasn't expecting to play it for more than like maybe an hour and a half or so, and I've been playing it for two and a half hours. So it's definitely got that addictive quality, and I would definitely recommend it to people. Um, perhaps if you're like me and you're a bit drained on the genre, it may be a kind of a wait for sale type thing. But I would definitely say it's worth a pun. It's not like 
For example, Ghost 1.0. Ghost did some interesting things, but at the same time, I don't think what it did was interesting enough to kind of be of interest to other people. Whereas this, I think, is fun enough to at least recommend to people. And if you're not burnt on the genre and you love it, then for a tenner, I think it's definitely worthwhile. So, that was Escape from Tethys. Thank you again to Sometimes You for the, the key. I definitely had a fun time with it, and I'm definitely going to be working through this. Uh, yeah, I'll probably definitely be working through it in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I think I can probably get through in the next couple of weeks before, like, you know, next month or something's out. Right. See you later. Bye, everyone.